Hello everyone, so something a bit different for this intro, I'm going to do my top 5 current favourite YouTube fragrance reviewer catchphrases, okay, some of them are easy to get, some of them you'll have to be a little bit more of a connoisseur of watching YouTube videos to know all 5, so if you know all 5, I reckon you watch a lot of YouTube videos, but still probably not as many as me. Number 1, I smell well so you can smell good. Number 2, hello guys, blank, back with another video. I had to leave his name out or it'd be too easy wouldn't it next up number three short and sweet like I always do number four thank you for stopping by thank you for checking out my channel and finally a lesson to us all in how simplicity is always best and this guy has really got that down to a fine art because it's a one-word catchphrase but we're all gonna know who it is BAM did you get all five I hope so on to the video Hello everyone, so welcome to my review of Pineapple Vintage Intense, the new release from Parfums Vintage. I gave a really good review to these two last year at the end of 2016. It was the original Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Noir which came out at the same time. Pineapple Vintage, incredibly pineapple-y version of Aventus, you might say, and how it smells. And the Pineapple Vintage Noir was supposed to be a more smoky version, but actually both had a very uh, accentuated, accentuated to me pineapple note. Uh, but certainly the Noir one, a little bit darker and uh, more woody, smoky. Uh, but the Pineapple Vintage, uh, I called it Aventus Sport, which was not a derogatory term. I, I meant that it was a really, really fresh, zesty, pineapple-smelling take on the Aventus idea. Pineapple Vintage Intense then is the new one. Let's put it up on its plinth there. Uh, so what's changed? So the actual fragrance itself, what's the difference? Just spray them both. Okay, so Pineapple Vintage, the original, was really, really sharp pineapple. Very nice other notes in there. There is some woodiness. There's a nice muskiness. It lasts well. I've got good pro projection from it. Some people said there's different opinions on the projection. I found it to be really good in projection, and I love the accentuated pineapple. The Noir version was uh, similar, but not so sharp in the pineapple. More of a smoky note. What they've done with this one is they've increased, apparently, the woody notes. From it. It's really more based on the original Pineapple Vintage, as you can tell from the box, than the Noir version. They've increased the woodiness and maybe taken out a little bit of the transparency and super freshness that was in the original Pineapple Vintage. So I believe ISO E Super has been in, either in, introduced or increased in the quantity it's been used in the new version. The actual concentration of the oils is apparently higher. So they're all eau de parfum, but this one has a little bit more of the actual fragrance oil in it. So projection and performance, or certainly the longevity, should be improved by that. The smell is perhaps the most important thing. The smell on this one is very, very similar to the original, but it is not the same. I have seen some people say it's a dead ring, it's identical. I think if you smell them side by side, it's hard to see how you'd come to that conclusion. The new one has a less sharp pineapple note. It's still got that nice tangy pineapple note, but the, you can feel that there is a, a more of an accent on a sort of smooth woodiness. I could have said cedar wood, that's not listed as a note, but it, it's a, perhaps it's ISO E Super that I'm smelling that way. It's got this very nice musky, woody quality about it, which the other one did have, but it always hung on to this very sharp uh, quality as well, the original Pineapple Vintage. Some reviewers did say they found Pineapple Vintage a bit sour, I could see what they meant. It was harsh to the point you could perceive that as being a bit aggressive. I liked it because I like that pineapple note. I thought it was fun. But I can see that might not appeal to everyone. This one has just dialed that down a little bit. We don't have tons of smokiness. So it's not like uh, the noir one. That has more of a woody, smoky, patchouli feel. This one has a touch of that in there. But what I think has been amped up is the smooth woodiness and a little bit of a quite sexy muskiness. When I smell it around myself and when I get, I've worn it quite a few times, when I smell it on my shirt the next day, I really like the masculine aura of this one. Uh, and it doesn't quite have that sharp... Um, almost fruit salad, pineapple type note that the other one had that I also did like. So that's what they've changed. There isn't much more to tell you. I think performance is really good on the new one from what I can tell. I find it very difficult to judge minor differences in performance. I thought the other one, the original, was very good in performance and I also think this one's very good. If the oil quantity has been increased and the ISOE Super has been uh, amped up in this one, 
that will lead to an increase in performance, all the science tells us. So I think uh, we can find that it, it, this one should give you better longevity. I have found when I've smelled them side by side, I will admit that it, it, hopefully I've sprayed the same amount. I've tried to do that in the same time. I have found that the new one does smell stronger for longer. Just a bit. I can't put a percentage or a time on that, but it is, I think they've amped it up a bit. So if you liked the original, you'll surely like this one. It's very hard to decide which one you might prefer out of the three because they're all really good and they are very similar. I don't know how this works from a business or marketing point of view. Is it a good idea to have three fragrances so similar in packaging and so similar in the smell? Uh, but clearly the project is going well, I think, commercially for them. So it's obviously working. And it's good for us fragrance enthusiasts. We like that kind of thing. Different versions of a very similar fragrance with different, almost different batch types uh, that you can buy. So... I would highly recommend this one. I can't say that I'm going to put it hugely above or below the rest. It's very similar, but there are differences, and you might definitely find that one of them is your favourite. So I guess I'll go with a 9 out of 10 again. I do really like Creed Aventus. That's a 9 out of 10 for me. I have smelt this alongside that. You can recognise Aventus as being different from Pineapple Vintage. For sure, they are different. Uh, the Aventus seems to have a little, all my batches seem a little bit more heavy in smokiness and a sort of patchouliness and heaviness. I find the Pineapple Vintage would be more suitable for me for a signature scent or uh, an any time scent because I find Aventus a little bit uh, heavy and maybe just, there is something just a slight bit old fashioned in Aventus in the sort of heavy patchouli quality. And this one, the, the freshness seems amped up and there's more of a nice soft woodiness in there, but it is very comparable to Aventus. You can tell that it's influenced by it. So I really, really like it and enjoy it. And the price has come down, I think, to 80, around about $85. They can give it to us for just $85. I think that's a good deal. You can get it uh, shipped in the UK and the USA. And samples are also available. So the samples are quite nice. They sent me a sample of the new version, even though they, they did kindly send me the bottle, by the way, for free for the purposes of review. Um, and the samples look good. You get a full five mils there. There's the intense sample. Uh, I haven't got the card for this one, but that's the noir sample in the original. Now you can get a set of three. For my viewers, we have a special coupon code to get you $5 off or the rough equivalent amount off if you're in the UK. And that code is Mr. Smelly. The packaging on all of them has always been really good for me. Uh, and one thing that's changed is the sprayer. Uh, the original pineapple vintage, which I have here, had a sprayer that was just sort of okay. I'll show you. I won't put my silly gun sound in, just so you can hear it as well. So let's try and get a good look at that. Gives you a very quick blast. I would say it's a decent enough spray. It's quite good. Love the smell. So sharp and pineapple. -y. Here is the new one, pineapple vintage intense. Going to give it a good press. Ah. So a much bigger, longer lasting spurt comes out. More liquid comes out. The thing that that shows us is the company are not resting on their laurels and they're trying to improve things. So I like that about this new one. They've made that little improvement. If you're interested, it's definitely worth checking out. It's great performing, very nice smelling. It's got its own DNA. I think we now have the, a new thing, a new kid on the block, which is a pineapple vintage smell that you can recognize distinct from Aventus and not just like the clones, which normally smell a bit like Aventus, but not quite as good. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about pineapple vintage? Have you tried any of the versions? Which one's the best if you tried all of them? Uh, have you any of you bought one or more of them? Let me know your opinions. How does it compare to Aventus? I'm very interested to know. As ever, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time in the next episode, whatever we're doing in life. Let's project. Bye bye.